The weasel family, which includes the species known as marks, are often thought of as cuddly little creatures that act like ferrets and look like stoats. But don't be fooled by their looks. In reality, weasels and mards are straight-up savages. Number 10. Martin vs. Squirr A sadistic man killed a squirr and nailed the animal to the street to see what the marden would do. The marden was unable to retrieve the squirr, so it licked the blood off its head and went back to eating. Some days it eventually took the squirr away. The marden and squirr played a game of cat and mouse for 20 minutes. Squirrels are extremely intelligent and use everything in their arsenal to escape attacks. This pine marden is munching on a squirrel's head. The head almost looks like a walnut in the marden's mouth. Number 9. Marden Eating Carcass These marns have taken over a carcass that may have been this jungle cat. The cat looks troubled but decides to leave nonetheless. While the mardens are digging into the carcass, this dead squirrel carcass was wrapped around Bramble and a camera was set up to see if the goshawk would return. The ghost hawk did return and 15 minutes later a marden showed up. Marden eventually freed the carcass, but returned later that night as well as a fox. A pine marden eats through a deer carcass it finds at night. Number 8. Marden vs. Gossock A northern goshawk attacks a piece of bait held by an American marden. A lure is designed to draw mardens to a distant camera station where researchers can identify individuals based on their distinctive chest and throat marks. This footage was shot in north-central British Columbia's John Prince Research Forest. While the marten is hanging and swinging on the bait, the gothawk flies in and lands. That's enough to make the marten run and hide for cover. But the marten isn't startled for long, and a few seconds later he's back. The working debate. The goshawk returns, but this time the marten is ready to defend its meal. As soon as the goshawk lands, the marten flies across the frame and tries to strike the bird, but misses. But it was enough to scare the gothawk away and for the marten to continue eating its meal. Number 7. Marten vs. Reeves Muncher It's like something out of a David Attenborough documentary. Three yellow-throated martens leap in slow motion, chasing a munjack through the Allen Forest. After seeing this, a local resident is gobsmacked. He says he lives in the mountains and he has never seen hunting captured on video like this. The incredible images captured a martens in tight pursuit of a terrified-looking Reeves munch act a kind of small deer. They circle the prey before chasing it to exhaustion, and then they attack and kill it. When fully grown, the foremost in Mud Jack weighs around PS25 and looks like a medium to large sized brown dog. It's a little bigger than a Martin, but that doesn't bother this yellow throated Martin in the least. This Martin keeps running around the foremost, and if I didn't know better, I would think they were playing and having fun like most kindergarten children do at the park. Once the fun and games are over, the Martin jumps the foremost, like any predatory cat would jump an antelope, and bites deeply into its skin making the Formosan scream in pain. The Formosan jumps up and manages to rid itself of the Martin, but only for a few seconds until the Martin delivers the deadly blow and kills the Foremost. Number 6. Martin vs. Deer and Baby Elk This Neil Gary Martin hops on this mouse deer's back, but at some point a man is nearby and it seems like the Martin lets go off the mouse deer and runs away. However, the Martin returns to see if the mouse deer is still there and it is so the Martin chases it but for some reason it's not as aggressive and abandons the hunt. I guess the man was still there and it intimidated the marten to proceed the way he really wanted to. This marten finds a carcass in the middle of winter and decides to feast on it. Vampire deer and elk may have fangs and like antlers and other deer, deer fangs are mostly used as weapons by competing males, vying for territories and access to breeding females. However, you can see in this video that vampire elks, especially young ones, are not capable of much harm. This vampire baby elk is being chased by a marten, and besides running around there isn't much it can do to the marten. The marten grabs it by the throat under the watchful eye of its mother and chokes it to death without the elf's mother trying to defend it. It runs off when the marten carries the dead animal up the wall to show the mother her baby is dead. I guess the marten wanted to give the mother one last look at her offspring before it devoured it. The marten seems to want to take the deceased baby higher up into the forest. Number 5. Marten vs. Haramid Campers this marten chases a snowshoe hare around the campsite as the hare tries to escape. The marten tries to catch up to it, and it does pouncing and suffocating it. On a cold winter day, a marten chases a snowshoe hare for about 10 minutes during a long road chase through the snow. At first it looks like the hare will escape, but the marten catches up to it and does what it does best, killing the hare. Another marten jumps onto the snow in pursuit of a bunny rabbit through a beautifully snow-covered forest and kills the rabbit quite easily. 
One of the most exciting roadside chases I've ever seen, this is almost as good as some of the best Hollywood action movies without the expensive budget. This Martin chases a bunny rabbit on a snowfield road and eventually catches up to the fluffy fur ball and kills it. Number 4. Martin vs. Baby Bird Martin will attack a blackbird's nest when it locates one. This mom takes care of her chicks and makes sure they are okay. A little later during nightfall, mom briefly leaves the nest and the chicks unattended. That's when a Martin crawls up to the nest, sticks his head through the crack, and begins to swallow the chicks one by one until the nest is completely empty. Upon the blackbird's return, she sees the empty nest and is stupefied. Maybe she should have gone to babysitter before going out with her friends. Martin caught a bird at night and spent some time running around with it, probably looking for the right place to stash it. This Martin climbs in this wood pigeon's nest and kidnaps the chicken and the egg. There will be major drama in the nest later on. Number 3. Martins vs. Rabbits and Hare In coniferous and mixed wood forest across Canada, the pine martin is a cautious weasel like species. It is common to refer to martin fur as Canadian sable among trappers who have long valued the martin's high-quality fur. Pine martins must be prepared to hunt in snow because they live in a country where the winters are harsh. In this video, a pine martin can be seen hunting a hare in deep snow. Even though the bunny is frantically attempting to flee, the martin is making it difficult. Martin and Hare part ways as they run in opposite direction. However, when the bunny returns to the road after cutting through the forest, the Martin is waiting for it and attacks it once more. This rabbit has me stumped. Instead of taking advantage of the opportunity to flee, he chose to return and challenge the Martin face to face. As soon as he sees the Hare, the Martin launches into an attempt to choke it to death. An exhausted rabbit is hauled away by its Martin killer. Another cold winter day. A Martin runs after her hare for about 10 minutes during a long, snowy road chase. The barn catches up to the hare and then does what it does best, killing the hare. These Martins are short, but boy, do they have a lot of oomph. In the midst of campers, this Martin chases the snowshoe hare around the campsite. As the hare tries to escape, the Martin tries to catch up to it and it does, bouncing and suffocating. It one of the most exciting roadside chases I've ever seen. This is almost as good as some of the best Hollywood action movies without the expensive budget. The Martin family catches up and pounces on the rabbit. If you've ever wanted to know what happens when two animals chase each other through a snowy forest, you'll have to wait until you get there. Number 2. Martin vs. Monkey Its tail accounting for more than half of its length. The yellow throat and Martin is one of the largest Martin species in the Western Hemisphere. Black, white, Golden, yellow, and brown all appear in the animal's fur, giving it a striking appearance. The coloration on the hindquarters darkens. This video clearly shows the Martin's hunting habits. The injured monkey was unable to move properly or climb the tree, had no choice but to act in any way he could to protect himself. Even though Martins are smaller than language, this Martin was making it impossible for the monkey to escape, displaying its skills and challenging the monkey at every turn. This langur has already been attacked by yellow-threaded Martin, and it is now sitting there, probably injured. The Martin walks around the area staring at the monkey and refuses to engage in a rematch. The brutality they witnessed in the Jim Corbett National Park was unlike anything they had ever seen before in their years of working in the woods. When they were discovered, two yellow-throat and Martins were munching on a macaque. The macaque appeared to be dead and emaciated, considering the yellow-throat and Martin's widespread distribution. Evidently, steady population presents in several protected areas and lack of significant threats. The Yaukin has classified it as least concerned. The Martin attacks a monkey while the monkey does nothing to defend itself. Despite its best efforts, it can't seem to shake the Martin from its body. The monkey's back has a significant laceration as well. This monkey, on the other hand. Number 1. Martin vs. Bird If a Martin discovers a blackbird's nest, it will attack it. This mom is concerned about the welfare of her chicks. Mom briefly leaves the nest and the chicks alone at nightfall. Once the Martin crawls up to the nest, he pokes his head through the crack and begins eating the chicks one by one until the rest is completely devoid of life. Astonished, the blackbird returns to her nest and finds it deserted. Before going out with her friends, she should have arranged for a babysitter. This kestrel and her four chicks are spending a peaceful evening together, unaware of what is to come. The mother kestrel is killed by suffocation after Martin jumps into the nest and suffocates it. When the Martin jumps out of the nest, it doesn't appear the mother is dead yet and the chicks are still there. As soon as the Martin reappears, he begins removing the chicks one at a time from the nest. Finally, 
After checking the mother's body for signs of life, the Martin continues to gather the remaining chicks. When all else fails, the Martin snatches up the mother and carries her out of the nest with the rest of the group. There's a bird in this pine Martin's nest and the Martin eats it right there. Despite its small size, the bird is perfectly suited to the Martin's needs. It appears the first Martin does not want to share his kill with the second Martin, so the second Martin departs. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let, let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they are uploaded.